sorrow and anger were the prevailing moods on the set of Hollywood film and TV productions Friday as crews grappled with the death of cinematographer Hina Hutchins, killed by a prop gun fired by Alec Baldwin during filming in New Mexico. In interviews with The Times, directors and cinematographers not connected to the Baldwin film Rust expressed disbelief that such a tragedy could take place in an era when computer-generated special effects can create all the necessary pop bang and flash needed to convince audiences that a real g it's a tragedy during powell said the mood on set friday was somber and that much of the talk was speculation about what exactly went wrong in santa fe joanna coelho a cinematographer working on season four of abc's police drama the rookie was on set when news of hutchins death broke it was really very shocking I think it was a bit confusing at the beginning because when we were shooting, I was just starting to hear rumors that a DP got shot and that's all I was hearing," Coelho said. And then they told me the name, and I realized I actually knew her. There was a moment of silence in honor of Hutchins on set Friday morning, Coelho said, and later that day rookie showrunner Alexi Hawley played an instrumental role in banning the use of live firearms on his set, issuing a memo that said muzzle flashes would be added in post-production. Coelho was glad to hear of the change. There's no reason anymore to have them. We have a lot of safety meetings and precautions that we take for them, but if there's any real risk it should be erased if you can do it another way," she said. Erin O'Malley, who has served as director and executive producer for Curb Your Enthusiasm, and Single Parents, among others, said the tragedy came at a very difficult time for crew members of the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, or IATSE the union that represents Sound Tay. The union recently narrowly avoided a strike after asking for better pay, hours and working conditions. There are a lot of things on set that are very dangerous, and, crews, rely on a handful of people to ensure their safety, O'Malley said.